station is Platt Square. Fish. Got any aces? Yeah, slipping out without saying goodbye. Can I go out? Have you done your homework? Dotted every I, crossed every T. You can check if you want. Liar. Calm down, Sarge. Can I go out, Mum? Of course, Puddin. Say hello to Vivek for me. Would it kill you to spend some time with your family for once? I know, I'm sorry. How about I make dinner tomorrow night? That would be lovely, dear. I'll get the pizzas out of the freezer now then, shall I? What you see in my sister, I don't know, Ash. Oh, I guess I'm just stuck with her at this point. Off you go then. Text me when you're on your way home, love. Bet you five pounds I could hit that car over there with a rock or something. Go on then. Nah, what if the alarm goes off? Too scared. No, I just don't want to upset the neighbours. You don't shit where you eat. Oh. Hey Donna. Hey, you got here quick. I thought you were working tonight. Who's manning the Codfather? Nah, Dad's had to close down for a few days. Right in the deep fat fryer again. You've spiked the batter, haven't you? <laughs> Nothing that exciting. Just a dodgy batch of scampi. Gave some people a runny bottom. Well, there goes that Michelin star. Cheer up. At least you don't stink of fish grease tonight. Are you both finished?
Did you see that guy just then? The one with the pretty lady? What guy? I've been watching him from my window for a few nights now. Bit creepy? Leave the poor guy alone. I keep seeing him bringing home different girls. Boys too. Sounds like a player. That's not the weird part. He brings them home, but I've not seen one of them leave. What are you saying? Well, I've had my suspicions for a while, but I'm now pretty convinced. I think he's building a guerrilla army. That's dumb. It's probably just a weird sex thing. Weird sex thing, I imagine. Oh yeah, I hadn't considered that. Probably a sex thing, yeah. We should play knock down ginger on him. Let's order him a pizza! No way. We've got to be all forensic and stuff. Covert surveillance, like your sister. I think Emma mostly deals with unpaid parking fines. Getting bored. Wanna do some gas? Oh sweet. I'm up for that. Okay, Becky, what would you rather do? Be put in prison for 10 years, but when you come out you get 20 million pounds, tax free. Or, get the 20 mil up front, but you die when you're 35. What are you on about? Come on, which one would you take? I wouldn't take either, they both sound shit. No, you have to. Probably take the 20 million up front, live it up on a yacht. But you die when you're 35. Yeah, I know. Like a really horrible slow death. Okay, fine. I'll go to prison then. But it's solitary confinement for the entire time. That's okay. And you don't have a bed to sleep on. Just a stone floor with loads of spiders about. You're just adding stuff to make it work. Check it out. Freaky dude's back and he's all alone. Not this again. I wonder where he's going. We should follow him. No way! I don't want to be turned into a human kebab. He is pretty fit. Always thinking about boys. Of course. Let's follow him. I want his number. When he makes high concept art out of your body parts, don't say I didn't warn you. Look lively, Codfather. The catch of the day is getting away. You 
no. He's probably meeting with his superiors in the guerrilla army. Oh, right. So, Cannibal Killer is out. Guerrilla army is back in. Yeah, I'm coming round to it again. Poor fella, he's probably just run out of condoms. Cannibal murderer, but practices safe sex. Nice. Could have saved himself a walk. You can get condoms in the loo in the ploughman's arms. I wonder if the entire gorilla arm is made up of hotties. I can't deny, he's one handsome man. Almost as pretty as you, hun. Ah, oh, make a boy blush. This has echoes of Viv's other conspiracy theories. Uh, wake up, sheeple. There are crazy things going on in this city. All those three months when he went full flat earther. On that occasion, I was just a victim of fake news. Never been to this part of town before. Me neither. Handsome guy's heading for that old building. Guerrilla army's still not off the table. Building looks big enough to be a fortress. Place is half fallen down. Maybe he owns the place. You could probably make a fortune converting that into flats. Okay, but what about all those people he's been disappearing? They're probably all inside having fun. Anyone up for a bit of... Breaking and entering. I'm game. You two are mental. What are you going to do? Just walk through the front door. No problem. I've got an idea. Top floor windows are open. I'm sure we can get up there somehow. the likes. Oh, I can't shoot it from here. Let me find the right position.
it! This is mental! <laughs> Run, you fellas! Wait! You guys! Guys, I'm stuck! Guys! What the hell have you done? What do you mean? He was going to attack Donna. Have you killed him? A little appreciation here. I just saved your life. Dude, bollock naked. He's not dead, is he? He's got superpowers. He probably can't be killed. We got a call for an ambulance. Whoa, hang on there. Let's not make any rash decisions. I'm not getting in trouble for this. This was your dumb idea. Donna, what if your sister finds out about this? Oh, I don't know. I can't think straight. We need to move him. Let's get him inside, out of sight. <sighs> that should hold him for now. Thank God he's still breathing. We have to turn ourselves in. This is getting out of hand. What? Slow down. Think about it. No one has to get into trouble. Let's just get out of here then. Hang on. We've left our fingerprints all over the place. And your sister's a copper? Well, we're screwed. We can't let him go. For the time being, he has to stay here. Emma? Where the hell are you? Tell me this instant! Just hanging out at Viv's. Sorry, lost track of time. Well, I'm at Vivek's right now and you're nowhere to be seen. Did I say at Vivex? I meant near Vivex. I'll be there soon. Donna. Donna, don't you dare hang up on me. Well? That was Emma. Your sister? Yeah, she thinks I'm at Vivex. She's there now. Emma's at the Codfather. You need to fix this, Donna. She can't come here. We'll go to prison. Oh, shit. It's fine. Calm down, Becky. I'll go back and meet her and make something up. Shh! Why are you shing us, Viv? I was trying to get you to stop saying our names. Why? He's awake. And here she is. Right. This is not on. You told Mum you'd text her. You didn't. You said you'd be at Vivek's house. You weren't. We were worried about you, Donna. Is everything okay? Just a moment, Ash. I'm not finished. Where the hell were you, Donna? Where are your friends? What prevented you giving us even a courtesy text? I'm really, really sorry. 
It won't happen again. I had to come out here this late. I have work in the morning. Mum's got enough on her plate. You were out with Vivek again, right? Where is he? He's still at youth club. You're lying! Again! I wonder how Vivek's dad feels about his son staying out all hours. Why don't I ask him while we're here? I bet he'll appreciate me knocking on his door in the middle of the night. What? Are you serious? Babe, it's pretty late. Perhaps we should all just go home. Oh, perfect. My fiancé's taking your side now. I don't know what's happened with you, Donna. You're always in your head. You're never at home. You never help around the house. Okay, I get it. I'm a total screw-up. Are you happy now? Let's just talk about this in the morning. Fine. I've done all I can. You two can sort it out amongst yourselves. I know Em can come on a bit strong at times, but she loves you. She has your best interests at heart. You're very quiet. Is something the matter? I'm fine. I'm not your sister. I'm not going to ask where you were. But you can always tell me if you're in trouble. I promise. Nothing to worry about. I love your sister, Donna. I just want us all to be safe and get along. Yep, sounds good. You're sure nothing happened tonight? There's nothing... wrong? Don't worry. I'm just tired, that's all. Okay. Let's get ourselves home before I get a scolding too. going out together. I thought they were already seeing each other. No, they've been seeing each other for a bit, but now they're actually going out. Bill's such a player. I wonder how long that will last. Thought you guys were dead. How come you didn't text me back? We had to go off the grid. I smashed my phone so they couldn't use my GPS. My phone's out of battery. How did it go with your sister? Things are getting a bit tense at home. It couldn't be worse timing, to be honest. Why? What's wrong? Nah, forget it. It's fine. Has he said anything yet? Not a peep. He just sat there staring at us. Pretty weird. I didn't dare sleep. I don't trust Viv's not tying skills. Hey! I can't believe how tired I am. Did you bring any food? Oh, no. Sorry, guys. I didn't think. Okay, let's get some supplies. We could do with tying the fella up a bit more securely.
Sounds good. I could do with a second breakfast. I'll come with. Hang on, that's bullshit. You just got here. How about you stay and me and Viv go? It's cool. I'll watch him. You both go and bring back some food and some zip ties or something. Oh. Yeah. Sure. Come on already. I'm getting hangry. So, you and Vivek stayed up the entire night. What did you get up to? You didn't mention anything about me to your sister last night, yeah? No, I told you. Emma's fine. Just, it was self-defence, yeah? And he's not dead or anything, so it's not even a crime, really? Don't worry. I didn't say anything. It was Viv's idea to tie him up, and if you hadn't got stuck on that fence or whatever, we wouldn't even be in this situation. Guess we're not going to school today. Screw school, it's the least of our problems. So what are we getting again? Some stuff to tie the guy up with and some sort of weapon. Yeah, uh, why don't you leave the talking to me? As if I would actually say it like that. Hi. Can I have a Stanley knife, uh, a roll of duct tape, and a bunch of double thick zip ties? <laughs> How old are you? Should you two be in school? It's a teacher training day. Mm, right. Wear your school uniform every day, do you? Listen, we just want this stuff and we'll leave. If you want to dob us into our school, go ahead. We don't care. Well, maybe a little. I'm just pulling your leg, girls. I did my fair share of skiving when I was your age. But I can't say you this knife. You're not old enough. Oh, come on. Sorry. That went well. Oh, it's fine. I nicked all that stuff when we first walked in there, just in case. Oh, you little thief! Come on, let's not hang about. I'm not exactly thrilled about walking around town with all this murder stationery on us. Mr. Hughes. What are you two doing in? Why aren't you at school? We could ask you the same question. Bold. Don't back chat to me. You two are in a lot of trouble. Uh -huh. Hang on a second. Oh, for pity's sake. Family problems. Look, I don't have time for this. Just get back to school and we'll talk about this another time. Too close. You've got crap chat, that's your problem. Piss off. I got us out of that, didn't I? Yeah, well done. Come on, let's just get some food and go back. Do you think it would be weird if I asked Vivek out? Whoa! Out of nowhere? Yeah, he's a sweetie. Would it be weird? Yeah. Yeah. It probably would be weird. You're right. That's what I thought too at first. But opposites can attract, can't they? And I could use a good roll around. What's up? You've gone quiet. What? Don't be weird. What's going on? Sorry. Still feeling pretty tired. You're tired? I'm running on fumes here. Oh no. We totally forgot to get any food for Viv! Oh, just don't mention it to him. He's probably forgotten anyway. Hey! Donna forgot to get you any food. Hey! We both forgot. No worries. Probably should head back anyway. I'll get food at home. Sorry about the food. We did get some cable ties and a box cutter, though. Okay. I guess we can time up a bit more securely.
Okay, he's not going anywhere for now. Can we be sure he won't bust out of these restraints? Who knows what he's capable of? Yeah, but these are double-thick zip ties. I really need to go. Me too. Need to figure out a good excuse where I've been on the way home. I'll walk with you. Donna, you okay staying here while we're gone? Yeah. You go get some sleep. We'll be back as soon as we can. I just need to make an appearance for Dad. Did he say anything while you were looking after him? Nope. I did try talking to him, but not a word. Hey, hot stranger. We're going now. Please don't eat our friend. Okay, see you guys later. Bye, Donna. Come on, Viv. This is stupid. We should have just called the police last night. Probably would have got away with a caution, maybe an ASBO at most. I think that ship sailed now, hasn't it? What do you think? Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, come on, say something. Just so I know you don't have brain damage. Or is that your tactic? To throw me off guard? Yeah, that's your plan, isn't it? To hope that I'll feel guilty and set you free. For what it's worth, I am sorry that you're in this situation. It's not ideal for either of us. Is Becky your friend? You spoke. Say that again. Is Becky your friend? Yeah. I mean, do you know Becky? Of course. Oh, you do? She hit me. She's why I'm with you now. Yep, that's Becky. So you don't really know her then? Could I stretch my legs a moment? Oh, you must be joking. I would have asked your friends last night, but they were too deep in their own conversation. <sighs> what were they talking about? My legs are stiff. All right, fine. You can walk around for a bit, but no funny stuff. And try speaking more normally. I can try. Okay. Up you get then. You can have ten minutes. Come on then, tell me what I want to know. They were very animated with each other. Animated about what? This matters to you, doesn't it? We had a deal, remember? Do you find it difficult opening up to people? What is this, therapy? <laughs> Please, I get enough of that from my sister. Emma? Huh? You mentioned her last night. <sighs> Bit nosy, aren't you? I'm interested. I'm interested. You know how condescending that sounds? It's exactly the sort of crap Emma would say, just to piss me off. I see. 
Yeah, well, I can't wait until I'm 18. I'm gonna move out, get a flat with my friends, you know, not deal with her crap. Sounds like you hate her. What? She's my sister. I don't hate her. I just wish she'd give me a little space. She didn't have an older sister nagging her when she was growing up. You'd be better on your own. What are you saying? I think I'd like to sit down now. All right. Can I ask you a question? Of course. When we saw you last night swimming, something very bizarre happened. What was that? I enjoyed our talk earlier. That's not an answer. If you promise not to tell anyone, Maybe I could show you. Sounds good. Let's see it. Come a little closer. Hey! Come on, what are you waiting for? Uh, are you alright, Donna? Don't mind her. Just show me what you did last night. Okay, getting a little weird in here. So now you've gone quiet all of a sudden? Because of Becky? Don't worry, she's not going to hurt you. Stop pissing around. It's not funny. We're in some real shit here, Donna. All right, whatever. You can look after him then. Is Viv on his way? No, I texted to say he was in shit with his dad. He didn't text me. How long are we going to keep this up? Moise is throwing a sick house party tonight. Everyone's going to be there. I guess we should probably talk it through when we're all here. I've got to go, Becky. I'll be back tomorrow. Hey, Ash. Where is everybody? Your mum was feeling a bit poorly, so took herself to bed. Emma's out at the moment. Oh. Hope Mum's okay. Sorry I'm late. I had to stay after school. Okay, well, I think I'll go straight to bed. I'm shattered. How was school today? Yeah, it was alright. Pretty good. I thought if you had to stay late, you must have had detention. Nah, not detention. I just decided to do my homework in the library instead. Where's your school bag, Donna? I don't know. Oh, I see you've decided to grace us with your presence. She's been doing her homework at school, apparently. Is Mum all right? She's fine. By the way, thanks for cooking dinner tonight. We all really enjoyed it. Just, Ash said she was poorly. I said she's fine. Uh, perhaps give your sister some space this evening, Donna. Look, I just asked if Mum was okay. Why are you on my case about it? I have enough to worry about without dealing with you again tonight, Donna. You're late home again. After all the palaver of last night. Oh, I was at the cinema with Becky and Vivek. I, I thought you said you were doing your homework. It's always Becky and Vivek beginning to think they matter more to you than your own family. Oh, sick of this. I'm going out. Where are you going? Oh, none of your damn business! It's Bex, leave a message. Just checking in. Uh, hope you're okay. Slight change of plan. I'm heading back over now.
you doing back here? Just checking in. Come on, I'll take over. You go to that party. Seriously? Yeah, go and have fun. Awesome. The stranger behave himself? Yeah, fine. You heard from Viv? I wonder if he can make Moises too. Dunno. I'll give him a call. Phone not out of battery? What? I called you on the way over here. Check your voicemail. I left a message. Oh, right. Yeah, I'd switched it off to save battery. We should probably leave our phones on at all times from now on. Okay, cool. See you later. You seem upset. I don't want to talk about it. Is it your sister? What did I just say? I thought we could continue our conversation from earlier. <sighs> okay. Let's get some things straight here. I'm not your mate. We're not going to be friends at the end of this. So you should be careful about pissing me off right now. Unless you want to see the bottom of that pool. I understand. Good. Donna? This is my knife. You asked me a question yesterday. This doesn't make sense. Your hands have been tied the whole time. You wanted to see what it is that I can do. Do you still want to see? Yes. Then loosen my restraints. suspicion you were keeping a secret. I was worried about you. I really wish you hadn't have come. So I followed you down here. Waited outside to see if you'd come out. Oh, please don't freak out. I can fix this. I need to get Emma. Ash, wait! Oh my god, someone stop her! Please, Ash! Stop a second! I can explain everything! You got your date tonight, love? Yeah. No idea where she's going to take me, though. Nice to see you putting yourself out there. Yeah. Had enough of being single at this point. What are you both talking about? Emma's taking a lovely girl out tonight. I should probably get ready for work. Does this mystery woman have a name? Hazel. Hazel Williams? She's in the year above. Uh, no, I'm not dating a child. <laughs> <coughs> 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 
Are you doing okay, Mum? I'm okay. I'm, I'm just going to have a little lie down. don't think I've fully woken up yet. You all right? Of course, hon. Just one of my wobbles. <sighs> Stay off the red wine tonight. You always get a purple mouth. Let's go for a walk. I need to talk to you about something. Oh, what have I done now? I'm worried about Mum. Why? She's just a bit wobbly, that's all. Mum is really going to need our help from now on. We've both got to pull through for her. OK. Donna, I mean it. I don't want to see you staying out with your friends all night anymore. I'm not out all night. I'm not trying to have an argument. Please just promise you'll spend some time with Mum this evening. You're not telling me something. I think it's probably best you know what's going on. Well, don't leave me hanging. Let's find somewhere quiet to talk. Mum's not well. Seems fine to me. She's been having some tests and they've not come back great. She'll be fine. Oh, you worry too much. I hope you're right. Of course I am. When am I ever wrong? <sighs> I'm going to be late for work. But the problem is, there's just no way that they could have survived the radiation in the spacesuits that they were wearing. Like, no one can explain that well. It's not even a conspiracy. It's just fact. Look it up. Have you seen The Shining? Donna, hey. Hey. Not getting bored yet? Eh, I passed the time doing some spring cleaning. I managed to take down that old plastic sheet at the back of the pool. We need to sort out what we're doing here long term. I don't know how much more school I can miss. Oh yeah, sure. We can talk about it when I come back tonight. Did you ever make it to Moise's party in the end? The other night? Nah, I couldn't get away from Dad. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. By the way, you should take some time to explore this place. There's an upstairs area at the back which is worth a look. I'll see you later. Up for a walk? How are you feeling today? Everyone seems to be asking me the same questions these days. I'm fine. That's good. You seemed a little unlike yourself the other night. Did I? Well, these are strange times. How's your sister? She seems okay. She's got a date tonight. Interesting. She's not sad. Why would she be? Oh, Viv. Hey, I know. Let me take a photo of you. You want to take a photo of me? Yeah, why not? Okay. Okay, cool. I've just got to free up some space on my phone.
I know you're not normal. You've got kooky abilities. Why are you staying here? Right now, I'm happy where I am. Okay, well, what if we decided to stop coming back here? Would you go to the police? If you didn't think I would, you would have no reason to keep me here. You like being our prisoner, don't you? How does it make you feel? No, you don't. Enough of your super intense questions. I want to know about you. What do you want to know? What's your name? Why do you assume I have one? Fine. I'll give you one. I'll call you Dave. A fine name. How's the love life? My needs are met. Do you like Becky? Not in the way you mean. Okay. Let's play a game. Have you heard of word association? I'll say a word, and then you say what it makes you think of. Ready? Okay. I'm ready. Home. Here. Drugs. Cheating. Future. Unclear. Look who's back! Hey. You okay? Yeah. Come on, let's go for a walk. I take it you weren't a fan of my attempts at interior decorating? Oh, I'm sorry, Viv. The den's great. That was really sweet. I figured if the three of us are spending more time here... Heard from Becky? Dunno. Not heard from her since Moise's party. She told me she was going to ask you out. Probably shouldn't have said that. She did, actually. Oh. Why do you care about Becky asking me out? Is that why you're upset? No, it's not that. I mean, I don't see why you'd care about who I went out with. It's Mum. Unless you do care who I go out with. Oh, just listen, will ya? Sorry. What's up with your mum? Just give me a hug, yeah? Leaving me to make the first move. <laughs> what are you like? Sorry. I wanted to for a while, but I didn't.
didn't know if you liked me. Why didn't you say something? Why didn't you say something? I don't want to be alone tonight. Will you keep me company? Are you sure? Come on. Hey, haven't seen you in a while. Can we talk? I wanted to catch you and Viv while we're all together. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Oh yeah, how was Moise's party? It was okay. Got a bit druggy in the end. You go alone? You hear about Moyes and Tina going at it on his dad's car. Mental. <laughs> Everyone's getting some action at the moment. What's that mean? Oh, nothing. Chips, Donna. Less talk, more chips. Ah, oh, look at you two. Bunking again. What, have you dropped out or something? Yeah, what are you both doing? Bet you think you're both so cool. <laughs> Cooler than you. Shut up, Donna. It's complicated. Yeah, looks it. Come on, Mary. Let's leave these wasters to it. Can you believe those two? Leave it. I've just about enough of all of this. Uh, we all have, not just you. Oh, shut up. Let's just get some food and go. doing? I... You, you saw that, right? Are you alright? I can't think. Right. Well, if you want to stay and bang on this door... I could have sworn there was... We're going, or what? Yeah. Any other doors you want to knock on on the way? 
You really didn't see the stranger go into his house? You're actually weirder than I thought. Weren't you going to get some chips or something? Maybe stick your head in the deep fat fryer while you're at it. Funny. It was closed anyway. <laughs> you know what I think? I think you've got a thing for that stranger. What? Oh, shut up. I've seen that little twinkly you get in your eye when you look at him. I bet you wanted to get into his house, look through his dirty laundry, sniff his pan. Oh, you're sick, you know that. This coming from you, the weirdest girl in school. Don't be an asshole your entire life. Ooh, you're hard. You know, for someone who's got a potential assault charge hanging over their head, you're awfully irritating. I'm irritating. You should listen to some of the shit that comes out of your mouth. I literally don't know why I bother hanging out with you. You're just upset because you weren't invited to Moise's house party. Does it look like I care? Oh my god, I can't believe it. He's right where we left him. I don't get it. Who was meant to be guarding him? You were. Wait, that doesn't make sense. You are truly losing it. Let's just think about this for a moment. This is stupid and a complete waste of time. We're guarding a moron who can't even speak and we're worried that he can dob us into the police. I'm out of here. Wait, he can speak. Dave, say something. This is embarrassing. You can look after your imaginary friend on your own from now on. Wait, what? I'm bored and I'm done. Later. Great. Well, piss off then. Thanks for helping me out back there. Oh, so you're not talking to me anymore either? Would you mind doing me a favour? There's something down in the basement of this building that I would like you to take a look at. Uh, he speaks. The door over there is open, if you wouldn't mind. You know, you need to work on your soft skills. We'll talk about that later. Oi! You didn't say it was pitch black in here. What's the deal? Nothing down there but some rats. My mistake. Donna, let me ask you a question. Do you still have that photograph you took of me? What's that got to do with anything? I haven't got time for this. Why? You know why. Mum's ill. I need to be spending time with her and helping Emma out around the house more. You need to be here. No. Come on, what are we doing here? This has gone on long enough. Why don't you just go? Here, I'll untie you. I wouldn't do that if I was you. Is that a threat? Donna, don't pretend you don't want to be here. I know you. I've got to go. Hello? 
Mom? And what about? Don Adelaide here. Speaking. Miss Adelaide here. It's Longmead Hospital. We need you to come in. What's wrong? It's your mum. I'm afraid it's serious. How soon can you get here? I need to stretch my legs. Do you want anything from the machine? No. I just can't believe this. How does something like this happen? She was fine the other day. She hasn't been well, Donna. Yeah, but nothing serious like this. Are you two Miss Adelaki's daughters? Yeah, that's right. How is she? She's resting now, but she is stable. So she's going to be okay? We'll know more when we get the test results back, but that won't be until tomorrow. In the meantime, the doctor has requested that we postpone any visitors until tomorrow, just so she can get her strength. I don't get it. Can't we just see her? We don't have to wake her up or anything. I'm sorry. Come on, Donna, let's go. Fine. Mum didn't want you to know. I thought you should, and I tried to tell you, but I just wasn't very good at it. I'm sorry, Donna. No, it's not your fault. I should have twigged what you were trying to tell me. What with all the other stuff going on with that stupid man, I guess I just didn't want to face it. What man? It happened a few weeks ago. But it's fine. I know him now. He won't go to the police. What are you talking about, the police? What have you done? I think I've made a terrible mistake. It's okay. Donna, listen to me. I need you to tell me exactly what's happened and show me where this man is. from netball practice, I realised someone was following me. A strange man. And he attacked you? Yeah. And you ended up in the swimming pool? Well, yeah. He ran away. He stole my phone. And that's when you tied him up? Yeah, you know, citizen's arrest. So stupid. You could have got yourself killed. Why didn't you call me straight away? And get a bollocking? <laughs> no thanks. You should have told me, Donna. Em? What is it? I haven't been entirely truthful with you. What do you mean? on my phone. I broke into the pool to spy on him. He broke in? And that is when he attacked you? Actually, I attacked him. I tied him up so he wouldn't go to the police. Stupidest thing I've ever done. 
Jesus Christ, Donna, that's kidnap. That's a serious criminal offence. It was self stay here. I need to see what you've done. I'll come with you. He only speaks to me. How am I going to explain this to the Sarge? What? I only told you so you could help me, not make things worse. I'm a police constable. I can't just cover this up like in some movie. What did you think I was going to do? What the hell are you doing? You'd sell out your own sister to protect your job. What about Mum? She can't deal with this now. Wait here. What are you doing? Get off of me! Just shut the hell up and stay here. Come back, Emma, please. Give me your hands. I need my handcuffs back. I'm sorry. Stay still. Emma, talk to me. Do you not get it? Mum's dying and we're out here playing one of your games. I'm not sure what's happening to me. I think I need to see someone. The problem is, Donna, I don't think I can believe anything you say. Is there anything I can do to make this right? I'm going to be at the hospital. Join me if you want. I don't care anymore. he's back again. What's happened, Donna? Who are you? I'm your friend, Dave. Friends don't keep friends hostage. I don't know if I've got any friends left. What do you mean? Oh, I don't know. Something feels weird. Empty. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I can't stay here anymore. This has run its course. You're free to go. This is about your mother. That's right. So? She's dying. In fact, she's almost gone. Yeah. And that's why I'm done with this. Goodbye. If you want my help, you only have to ask. You're not a doctor. What could you possibly do? What do you have to lose? Ask me.
get up. I'm sorry. I've slept too long. What time is it? It's almost 3 a.m. What's going on? It's time for us to leave. What? Where? Your house near that chip shop? I don't have time for your questions. Get up. We're going. Did it in the bathroom. 